So if you guys don't know, school's starting back up. Everyone's going back to school. And honestly, I think this is the best time to tell you guys my first day of high school. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I, like I said before, in all my old storylines and everything, I'm not the best at school whatsoever. And I didn't start slaying girls until like, I wanna say like grade 11, or grade, half a grade 10, 11 and 12. So my first day of high school, like I wasn't a slayer right on the spot. And basically I'm gonna be telling you guys my first day of high school wasn't the greatest. So if you guys don't know, basically when you guys are going first into high school, there's gonna be a lot of things you realize like what crowd to go into all the warnings they give homeroom all this weird stuff and i'm gonna be honest you in the first couple days you're gonna be really confused but once you actually get into that rhythm it's really fun and you know slaying the ladies later on is it's probably the best part too <laughs> i can't i can't lie but no like i said high school is like a brand new world and it's basically like you know it's where you're supposed to go find your career or whatsoever i don't know they never had youtube classes so i guess this doesn't really count but anyways i remember my first day when i woke up and i was getting ready for high school i had no idea what to wear or what to do whatsoever. So I remember one thing I tried to do was literally go on Instagram and look at some high schoolers Instagram pages of what the guys wore and what kind of vibe they kind of put on when they went to school. Now, funny enough, if you guys don't know, basically I used to wear like a lot of collared shirts that were like plaid. Like I was, I was a goody goody, I guess I would say at that point. So I remember I ended up finding like a really weird baggy t-shirt and like a hoodie that was like lime green and like some just normal jeans with the weirdest shoes ever. I guess that was like kind of my fit. Uh, here's a picture of it. If you guys want to see that. <laughs> yeah, not the best move i'm not gonna lie so me entering the high school doors i remember first thing i did was like literally looked around like i literally walked around the high school and it was like an hour before school actually started which is weird because i never actually go to school early but this is the one time i actually decided to do it because i had no idea what to do whatsoever so i was walking around looking around and i remember i saw like two people making out in the hallway like i don't know why but there were literally like two people just making out and i had no idea what was going on it was literally in like the middle of the hallway in like in front of lockers like it was it it was just awkward dude like i had no idea but i tried to ignore it i kept walking it was just weird and i remember as i was walking i saw the gym so if you guys don't know high schools have like a giant gym and the gyms are huge they have like bleachers and stuff and i'm not gonna lie when i walked there and i saw like the bleachers and everything i remember i saw like a janitor pop out under the bleachers it was the most weirdest thing ever because he literally like appeared out of nowhere and he popped up and he's like uh what are you what are you doing at the gym boy and i remember looking at him like oh like i'm just looking around like my bad like i, I had no idea what was like around here i'm sorry and he told me, uh, just make sure, you know, if you have gym class to keep the floors clean, don't do anything stupid or bring drinks in here, which makes sense. Cause you know, I'm not going to bring drinks in the gym. I don't know, dude. I don't know what his mindset was, but anyways, I kept walking. I kept moving on. I kept going through the school. And basically I remember I saw the change rooms. Now I'm not going to lie. There's a boys change room and there's a girls change room, but for some reason, and I have no idea why, and I'll never ask why, but I remember I walked into the girls change room. Now you're probably thinking, wait was there not a sign there there was so apparently the last day of school last year someone decided to switch the signs from boy to girl and it was the most weirdest thing and i remember i walked in and there were two girls just instantly getting changed and i got freaked out like i literally saw them like you know naked <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't know why i'm saying that so awkwardly but yeah i saw them naked i'm like oh shoot like i'm sorry and they just started screaming i remember i ran out of there and i ran outside and i ran outside to the field so uh, as i was on the field i was seeing like all the you know all the cool guys just kind of hanging out you know being rough with each other and stuff and obviously that's not my crowd because i'm not gonna lie. i was a scrawny little kid i'm not gonna go in towards that crowd so i remember what ended up happening was the bell rang i walked back into the school and as i was walking to, to the school i was looking at my you know phone to see what was homeroom because i took a picture of my schedule because you know who uses actual papers for the schedule <laughs> loser <laughs> uh, never mind so yeah i remember i literally walked around and i was like you know finding out my classroom i found my classroom i walked inside and dude it was the most weirdest thing like i remember walking in seeing a bunch of people from my middle school years and they all look different like i'm not even joking one of them like gained hair all over his body like he was an ape like dude it was the most weirdest thing seeing everyone just change and there's just me standing there looking like the same 12 year old that i always did back throughout middle school like it was just awkward dude so i remember i went and sat down to the back of the classroom and i remember just chilling there hanging out and dude let's just say i was a loner like no one decided to look at me nothing like it was sad okay it was actually brutally sad all i'm gonna say is is that if you have friends in middle school going on to high school with them don't expect them to be your friends uh, i'm sorry they're probably gonna ditch you and leave you uh funny enough anyways after homeroom i remember i walked out into the hallway and it was like a thing called nut break or basically recess but just in a fancier term for high schoolers and i remember walking around and i saw 
saw this chick walk up to me. Now, I didn't interact with anybody at the time. Like, I was still, like, silent throughout the whole day until this chick walked up to me and said, hi, can I give you some advice for high school? Now, at first, I thought it was, like, some person, like, in, like, the leadership club or whatever they had at this high school. And I'm like, oh, uh, yeah, sure. Thinking that she was going to help me out. But in reality, she said this. So, first thing I would do is take off that pussy repellent on your face. And when she said that, I remember literally thinking, what the heck is she talking about? And I said, wait, wait, what do you mean? Then she said, um, yeah, so that, um mustache or wannabe mustache um pubic hair thing on your face needs to go like it needs to get off so i remember i ended up literally just walking away from her just all pissed off and i was like kind of like sad so i literally went to the bathroom and literally started crying you know thinking like this sucks like school sucks everything sucks like i was like that average emo kid <laughs> you know just acting all weird and depressed and i remember i looked at myself in the mirror in the bathroom i'm like i'm taking this off like i'm shaving this off like when i get home first thing i'm gonna do is shave it off now fun fact about shaving i've never done it before I've never shaved before. So I remember uh, after school ended, I ran home and I literally like went to my bathroom and I stared myself in the mirror saying, okay, how am I going to take this off? At first I was thinking about waxing it, but at the same time, I've never used wax before or nor do I know how wax works. So I decided to go with the average thing and use an actual blade. So I remember I literally got like a blade, like shaver, I guess you could say. And I got it from my dad's uh, drawer and I instantly started shaving my face. And let's just say, I didn't know you're supposed to use soap or some kind of shaving cream. So at the time I didn't know you had to use shaving cream to actually shave your face, funny enough. So I remember I just literally cut myself right above my lip and let's just say like i was just bleeding from right under my nose like it was crazy i remember my dad walking in saying like what's going on like why are you bleeding and i'm like i don't know like i just wanted to shave but shaving's so difficult like i was crying and i was freaking out about it it was the most awkwardest thing ever and then he helped me out i got a band-aid on my lip for like the rest of like that week because i don't know i guess it was a pretty bad cut i'm not gonna lie and i'm not gonna lie one thing i really should advise and tell you guys is that no matter what people say to you or no matter what you know people make fun of you for either to your appearance how much you weigh you know anything to do with your appearance whatsoever don't listen to it you're perfect the way you are be who you are and you alone will always stand out anyways guys that is basically it for the video make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe seriously thank you guys so much for all the support on these amazing videos on these storylines i have with my life one thing i'm going to also advise you guys is also we are on a schedule if you guys don't know what i mean by that basically we're going to be posting every monday wednesday and friday so make sure you guys stay tuned stay ready for these storylines because it's going to be on a consistent schedule Thanks to an amazing team that's helping me out. I love you guys. And like I always say, fall for more embarrassing stories. Peace out, guys.